doesn't love a good red? Today's question comes from Esmeralda who asks, Hey doll, can you make a video about the ingredient red in eyeshadows and why it's banned by the FDA? So the color red in eyeshadow isn't actually banned by the FDA, but I can see your confusion because red does have a colorful history in cosmetics. In ancient times, red makeup was made of red ochre with iron oxide as a main component. Sure, it was red, but red like rust, not red like rubies. Eventually, we found more vibrant reds in mercury and lead compounds such as vermilion or minium to satisfy our red craving. Vermilion was composed of mercury sulfide and minium was lead tetroxide. Mercury and lead? Hmm, not terribly good for you. These ingredients inspired some of the first regulations against toxic pigments in the 1900s. Today, Thankfully, we have some safer options for red, but there still is some controversy. The coloring synthetic red number two was banished in the 70s. It was used to color foods and cosmetics. Well, at least until federal regulators banned it as a health risk. There was such an outcry from the public that the Mars Candy Company even pulled red M&Ms from their lineup of colors, even though they never contained red number two to begin with. Perhaps that's where the concern for the color red started. Another red that was also banned was synthetic red number three in the 90s. It used to be used in cosmetics, though I'm not sure if it was ever permitted for use near the eyes. It was banned after a study showed that the color additive caused cancer in lab animals. The public demanded it be removed from the market, though the FDA stated you're more likely to get in a railroad accident, plane crash, or a natural disaster than getting cancer from red number three. It looks like the public mm, won out though. Red coloring just couldn't catch a break. Today, if the red ingredient in your eyeshadow is a traditional red, it's probably carmine, also known as cochineal, cochineal extract, crimson lake, E120, or C754470. Who names these things? Carmine is not banned and is perfectly legal, though vegans and vegetarians take some issue with it because the pigment comes from bodies of the cochineal insect. The dry bodies are boiled up, the solid bits are filtered out, and a lum is added to produce a colorant. It looks like this. When it comes to reds and eyeshadows, you might also be thinking of red number 40, which is permitted in the US, though there seems to be some ongoing controversy about its use in foods. If you want to see that study that caused all the drama, I'll link to it in the description. Red 40 is permitted for use near the eyes, so it could be in your eyeshadow, though you can see it has a bit of a pinkish color to it. So I could see how it's not as popular as carmine. There are other options for red out there, of course. There's red iron oxide, which tends to look a bit muddy. So you can see it right here, it has a more orangey tone to it. There are also some raw material companies that offer reds without red, which are other colors mixed together to give a red appearance. I'm having some samples of those sent to me, so I'll share them with you in an upcoming video. So, Esmeralda, you can see that while the color red used in eyeshadow is not banned, it turns out some of the colorants used in the past to make red are, and they're still pretty vibrant in our memory. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna hear more about the science behind your cosmetic products.